This is my 1981 280ZX non-turbo. Today we're going to just replace the fuel filter. I'm not even sure when that filter was last replaced. It might be original. The car runs, starts, drives fine, so there's no problem with it, but uh, we are going to just replace it today with a uh, brand new uh, Nissan filter that I've got here. According to the field service manual, we need to drop the fuel pressure to zero. So what we're going to do is start the car and then I'm going to come out here and remove fuel pump relay number two. So that's this one right here in the middle and uh, we'll unplug that. The car will then stall. We'll try to crank it a couple more times and then the fuel pressure should be at zero. So I'm not going to video all of that, just letting you know what I'm going to do before we pick this up again. All right, fuel pressure's at zero. By the way, when I pulled this uh, relay, it took all of one or two seconds for it to stall. I think that's correct. And then we're just gonna remove this with a Phillips head on this hose clamp here, and then we'll have to loosen this bracket also. Um, we're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket for that. And underneath there's another clamp that looks just like this one that we're gonna remove. So we're gonna just disassemble this. Uh, and of course, we're gonna use a rag to soak up any gas or fuel that might come up uh, when we disconnect the hoses. And I'm also gonna have a small container to catch any fuel that's gonna drip out of um, the, the filter. I've loosened the hose clamp so it can slide up here. Left this hex bolt tight for now so that it kind of holds the filter in place while I'm gonna pull off uh, this and of course have a rag ready to catch it. I also have a drip pan underneath the car just in case anything spills out that way. All right, I've got the top hose off. I would say maybe a tablespoon or less of oil of gas came out, just what was ever, what was ever uh, left in this line. And then we're going to loosen up this hex bolt so I can get at the one on the bottom. I'm going to try to keep this as upright as possible because there's obviously fuel in here. I don't want it to spill all over the place. But I will also um, jam something right in there to catch some stuff, like just a little piece of cloth. Alright, this is the old fuel filter. Taking it out was not too bad. The hardest part was just getting the hoses off of the ends here. Even with the clamps removed, they were really tight. Uh, and probably just because they'd been on there for so long. After we put in the new filter and start the car up, I'm going to take a hex out of this and we'll see what it looks like inside just for curiosity. By the way, as soon as you remove the bottom hose from this, make sure you have a, have a rag positioned already underneath that area because gas is going to start coming out of the filter. And then just quickly try to get the filter onto its side and into a container that you should have handy as soon as possible so that you don't spill fuel all over your floor. All right, here's the new fuel filter installed. Just making sure we get all those hose clamps tightened down real well and we've got the fuel pump relay back in place we're going to go and start the car all right here we go all right took a couple cranks but it is running and humming nicely all right, we're just draining out the remaining fuel that's left in this old one. Then we're going to take a hacksaw to it, cut it open. I'm just curious to see what it looks like inside. All right, I cut open the old filter. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. So I guess that means my fuel tank is doing okay. And it's not really surprising. The car was having no trouble with power or anything like that. I just wanted to change it because I had no idea when the last time it was changed uh, by the previous owner. So at least now for $20 and a couple minutes of my time, most of which was actually spent cutting this thing open, I now know exactly when my fuel filter was been changed and it's got a brand new one in there now. 